Hi and welcome in this video from Teach Me How to Trade Forex and Binary Option. My name is Damien Levy. Forex Professional Course Swing Trading Strategy using my MetaTrader 4 profile. In this lesson you will learn indicator use, installation and where to download them, entry method at the level of the profile using the 4 hour time frame and candlestick patterns, two types of entry and stop loss placement, target profit, fix, three times your risk or following the swing on the 4 hour chart. Indicators Please refer to the previous video on the pending order strategy to download and install all the indicators and set them up properly. I added the spread indicator link below. For this strategy, we will use the candles for our stop loss definition. No indicators of volatility used here for that. But the envelope can help you to select the trade with a potential higher reward. We will spot every level horizontal plane yellow line on the weekly analysis profile that I publish on Telegram. For our time frame, the 4 hour time frame seems to be slow, but it has some very nice sides. You need to check your computer only, let's say, 20 minutes. If you check all my 30 plus pairs analyzed, every 4 hours only at the end of the 4 hour candle. We place a trade only when a candle is completed. When you do that, you will likely stop over trading and it will help you to work on your patience. Second very nice tool is my Forex Alert Telegram channel. Before you check your chart, just check the channel to see what are the pairs where the price is near. This way, you will have to check only a few handful numbers of pairs every 4 hours and it will take you even less time. Then, you don't trade when you sleep so you will likely check your chart I would say 4 times per day which make you work 1 hour 20 minutes per day trade placement included to trade still 30 plus pairs so you will still be able to take a lot of trades and have all the time in the world for your other passions also if you can depending on your location the two candlestick and time you could possibly skip are the one at 5 p.m. GMT because it is 1 p.m. East time and US traders and institutions will likely finish their trading day after the next two hours. Also, London market closed so there is less liquidity. Overall, the volume usually drops and consequently price consolidate and goes nowhere after this time. The second candle time you can skip is 10 p.m. GMT. It is 6 p.m. East time, the end of the New York market and the end of the trading day on most trading platforms. Those are the lowest volume candles during the day and a trend is unlikely to start there. Other very good point is the reliability of the candlesticks patterns on this time frame. C. A lot of big investors take their trading decisions based on this time frame which make a pin bar for example way more reliable for the 4 hour chart than in the 5 minute chart for example. So, we will focus by simplicity here only into three reliable candlestick formations. The first is a pin bar, the second is a railroad track, and the third is the engulfing candle. Candlestick pattern. The first, the pin bar. The wicks should show clearly the rejection of one particular side, not both, and should represent at least 60% of the total height of the candle. This particular candle, for example, is a doji. There is rejection on both sides, unlike the pin bar. This one means indecision in the market. It is riskier to trade it as a reversal candle. Let's see some chart examples. Let's check GBPUSD on the 4-hour chart and see what are the pin bars there. So, here is one pin bar right here. The week right here is more than 60% of the overall size of the candle. So it's a confirmed pin bar. Just below, another one, a very nice one. 
maybe a bit long. Same happens here. The wick is way above 60% of the side of the total candle. So this is a confirmed pin bar. If we take this one, for example, it is not a confirmed pin bar. Because the wick is not larger than 60%. If it was right here, if the wick goes all the way up here, it would be a pin bar. It's not. Now let's look on the upside. This specific example, the blue candle with wick at the top and the bottom, this is not a pin bar, this is a doji. It shows you that the market rejected from up and rejected from down. So it's an indecision candle, there is no clear sign that the market will go down. Same appear with this one. This is a doji. Rejection up, rejection down. So no clear direction that the market will go in a specific way. Now this one. I don't believe it qualify. The length of the candle is 45 pips. So 60% would be 30 pips. So the pin bar should stop around here and it doesn't. So this is still a doji. But see, you can still see a nice rejection. So this one has a better probability to go up than the simple doji right here. Now let's continue to check our chart and let's look at the bottom. This one is a perfect example of a pin bar right here. Nice week, more than 60%, perfect one. And just after happened this one, that is borderline, but I'm not sure it will make 60% the week compared to the side of the candle, so I will not qualify it. But the rejection is strong going down. And sometimes you are more interested in what you see as a rejection power than the exact candlestick formation. So those are the examples for the pin bar. Let's come back to the presentation. Second candlestick pattern, the railroad track. So one candle up, one candle down. It's a combination of two big body candles, one up, the other down. In this example, they reject a resistance. The pattern is inversed if it is rejecting a support. They must have big, nearly equal body. They can have little wicks. Let's look some example on the chart. So same, let's take our GBP USD pair and let's scroll down. So as I said, if it's not a perfect pattern, it's not a big deal. But this one is nice. You have one big candle going down and you have one candle taking all the way with big body up. So this is also a nice example. Not perfect pattern, but it qualifies for me. This pattern is a bit more rare. This one would qualify also, right here. The candle size are nearly the same. And once again, one big body go going up and one big body going down. And after the market, go down. This one, for example, nearly qualified. But since you have this candle rejecting the level that doesn't succeed to go at the same level of the previous one, I will not take it in account. I will wait a better pattern. But on the left side, if you take this one, this one for me would qualify because big body going up and big body going down and at the same time it take out the bottom of this specific candle. So this one is a qualified, this one is not qualified. For example, this one, the first right here, this qualifies. Candles go down and after rejected very nicely with this one, breaking the high, so perfect sign of power going up. Yeah, this is a perfect shape railroad track. Candle go up and go down, same body size, this is a perfect pattern. And after price, go down. And the last one, perfect also, this one. Very large body going down and very large body going up. Taking out the high for a few pips from the other one and after market make a huge move up that was for the railroad track so our last pattern the angle thing candle 
so you have a candlestick and just after you have a big candle engulfing the high and the low of the previous one in the direction of the rejection at a specific level of support and resistance so it's a combination also of two candles the second must engulf the high and the low of the first some teachings take into account the weeks some don't for me it's a matter of preference the most important is that it must seem clear on the chart so a lot of traders will take action based on those patterns also they must show strong rejection we are more interested in the power of the price than in an exact textbook shape pattern but also on the other hand we don't want to have too much big candlestick because it will put too much money at risk to enter at the break of those pattern and not a lot of people will trade those too much big candlestick because the risk will be too much important for them finally you can learn other patterns when you become more skilled in those three to get more opportunities to trade also note that those candlestick patterns works with good probability at a strong level of support and resistance like what you will find in my weekly analysis I recommend not to trade them without market structure now let's look at this last pattern on the chart so same here is our first example see this candle high is here this candle low is here and this candle angles the high and the low this is an engulfing candle and the price likely go down same here this candlestick low is angled here, this candlestick high is, is angled here, and this break up, this is an engulfing pattern confirmed. Same here. Previous candle high and low are inside this specific bar. This is an engulfing candle. It's better if the body close below. If it's a resistance and close above if it's a support. Like for example this one. This is not a textbook because it doesn't engulf the weak of the first one right here, but the body is big and closed down, so this is a nice, for me, it qualifies as an engulfing candle. That's it for the examples. Different type of entry and stop loss placement. Once a candlestick pattern is formed, at the end of the candle, you will place a pending order for your entry. All those trades are reversal trades. The first entry type, which is the more conservative, is to place a sell stop at the bottom of the candle pattern if price hit a resistance, or a buy stop at the top if price is hitting a support. Now let's see visually our first type of entry, buy and sell stop. This is the resistance level on my yellow line. Price makes swing going higher and might touch the level. Then it touch. Now we need to have a candle pattern at the first or second touch of the level. It can be a pin bar, those two types for example, or a railroad track, or an engulfing pattern. Then once this pattern is formed at the end of the candle, you place a sell stop, in this specific example, at the bottom, plus one or two pips, of these specific candles, expecting the price to go down. In this specific case, you can trade the doji because if the doji is broken up or down it shows that the price already goes in this specific direction it's like a breakout of the range now let's see the second type of entry which is a buy or a sell limit same resistance price go up and make a pattern and after that you will place a buy or a sell limit at 48 percent of the total pattern height this will give you a better entry point and a shorter stop loss in the future so you can get more rewards and you expect the price to go down in this example in this specific example the doji is not allowed you don't play this specific aggressive style of entry with the doji now let's see the stop loss of the buy and sell stop so remember you place a sell stop just below the pattern if it hits a resistance and your stop loss will be above the high two or three pips this is the most conservative way to place your stop loss it has less chances to be hit if it's there 
Then you have a second way to place your stop loss at 60% from the bottom. This stop loss is more aggressive and you have more chance to get hit but it will give you a better risk reward ratio. Now let's see the stop loss of the buy and the sell limit. So remember we place your entry price at 50%, 48% to, to be sure to be trigger of this specific pattern and your stop loss will be above 2 to 3 pips the candlestick formation. This is the only one uh, stop loss position that you can apply for this specific type of, of entry and it will give you a very nice risk reward ratio. Now let's see the target profit placement. Target of the buy and sell stop. So remember when you enter your sell stop your stop loss above the high the orange two side arrow is the risk and you will take two times your risk as a target profit. Why two times only? Because your risk is quite great. Sometimes the candlestick are very big so it, if you take two times your risk it will make a lot of pips distance already. Now let's look at the target of the buy and sell stop with the different stop loss. So when you place your stop loss at 60% in this case your risk is only 60% from the other one. So in this specific case you will take three times for your target profit reward. Now let's see the target of the buy and sell limit. So you place your sell limit in the middle of the candlestick pattern, your stop loss and after your target profit will be three times your risk since your risk is quite little. Protection. You can protect your position using 1.5 stop loss value as a jump stop or trailing stop. Or you can trail your stop at every big candles on the 4 hour chart in your direction. Money management. I recommend using 2% of your account each trades. Note that this strategy provides around 20 trades per week and with a risk reward of 1-2. If you lose 2 trades and win 1, you will still be break even you need to win only more than 33% of your trades to be profitable. Now let's see the trade placement putting all together on the chart. So let's take a look at the OTCHF chart on the 4 hour and those lines were from this week and last week. So we have, so we need the level to be touched like right here and it gives us a very nice pin bar. So once this pin bar is completed you can place different type of entry, a buy stop, you can place a buy stop above the eye of this candlestick with a stop loss maybe right here or at 60% of the candlestick right here, which would have been triggered right here, but after the price reverse and you didn't win this trade. This is the first placement as a buy stop at this level. Now the second example of trade placement is you have the length of this pin bar and you will take 50% of it which is right here. So your entry, I will make it blue, is right here. Your stop loss, I will make it red, is below here and your target profit is one time, one time, two time, three times. So your target profit would have been here. Yeah, here is it. So in this specific example, we have nearly a perfect railroad track. I said nearly because the top of this candle is not hit by this candlestick. But the body are very large and reject very well with a nice wick right here. So this pattern for me is confirmed since I see a strong power going up. So with this specific pattern, you can apply the same entry possibility right above this point with a stop loss right here which is very large and this one hit 1.5 so we, you would have finished break even right here. The more aggressive entry for this specific railroad track would have been to place your entry like a buy stop like right here and you place your stop loss at 60% right here. And in this case, you would have hit your target profit three times. If you take the big stop loss, 
you trade your stop loss when you eat 1.5 reward which make you break even or you can take even 1.5 reward that's possible also when you have a large stop like that so on AudioSD you have this specific pin bar confirmed the week is more than 60% of the total height of the candle and you can enter as a buy stop right here and it hits the three times reward very easily or you can place inside but it will never have triggered so the only way that works is this one with a buy stop sometimes it triggers sometimes it's not but this one made for example let me check 13 pips stop loss and it made 60 pips so it's more than four times your risk and the movement is not done I think I think it will continue to go up so this one won three reward and even maybe four so that's it let's look at another example so let's look at gold and we will look at the at the white line right here so this white line has a pin bar well the pin bar might not be but it's around 60 percent so it's still a good one and additional to that you have one of my level on my template and you have the moving average 50 on the 4 hour chart which is a very nice tool so you place your entry at the top so your stop loss is might be right here or at 60 percent which is exactly at the level of support and resistance and it made very easily the three reward so your stop loss would have been 55 and we are 130 130 and actually it made uh, 300 pips so it makes six times your risk on this specific trade going with the trend and uh, we can take this also right here it's a very nice pin bar gold has a very nice pin bar last week and if you enter at the bottom it would have been during the break of Monday so maybe you would not have been triggered but I think this one made the two reward 100 oh it made one 180 so nearly two reward and you would have finished the break even for this specific trade which is against the actual trend so so that's it for these specific examples so what you can do to filter more quality trades is also like in the pending order check the levels that are outside the envelope it will give you more reward uh, this one made a nice railroad track right here so we have a nice railroad track right here two correct body size one up one going down then if you place your sell stop right here with the stop loss right here or stop loss in the middle uh, the aggressive would have been stopped out but the conservative one would have made more than three four five reward going with the trend also so you can also choose the trade going with the trend because it's a swing trading strategy so better if you follow the trend on the daily chart to summarize once the indicators, profile and easy order are installed on, on your MetaTrader 4, you wait and alert on my Forex Alert Telegram channel. Once you got an alert, you check the pair for the first yellow horizontal line near the actual price. If you want to put more filter to get more reward, you can also use the envelope and the price action trend. You wait the end of a 4 hour candle to see if it forms one of the three patterns explained pin bar, railroad track, engulfing rejection, the level. Once the rejection is completed with a clear pattern on the 4 hour chart, you will place a limit or stop order depending on your risk appetite. The stop loss is safer above or below the candle pattern, but you can also place it at 60% of the pattern to have a better risk reward ratio. The target profit can be taken from 2 to 3 reward and if you want to learn more in depth and be able to take more reward and also to be an independent profitable trader, don't hesitate to contact me and enroll my complete forex course. I let you the explanation below this video. This is the end of the lesson. Subscribe to my channel to receive a notification whenever I post a video. Please like and share this video if you found the content useful. 
If you have any constructive feedback or if you want me to do a video on a specific topic of trading, write a comment below, I will appreciate. If you need free signals for binary option and forex, you can join my Facebook group and Telegram channels, the links are below. I provide my analysis on more than 30 pairs every week, plus alerts and signals in real time. If you are serious about trading and you want to learn to become profitable, I also propose two complete courses. One on binary option and one on forex. More than 10 hours of teaching each. Some are live with me, some are in streaming. I post a link below explaining what you will find in them and also where to find the reviews from my previous successful student. Finally, if you need a quality forex broker, I recommend IC Market. It's a true ECN low spread and commission. Regulated in Australia, their link is below. Bye everyone.